Hi, this is Mark Morrell for Toon Barn, and we just finished the Voltron panel at New York Comic Con 2012. And I'm here with Jacob Shabbat and Brian Smith, an artist and a writer for the, the Voltron comics. Can you guys tell me which comic you guys each work on? Sure. Uh, I am the writer of Voltron Force for Viz Media. Uh, I wrote volumes one through six, and uh, Jacob uh, is the artist who drew volume one and volume six. That, that is, those are facts that are true. Uh, when they told you it was a six-story arc, okay, what, what did that mean for how you have to develop the story? Um, it's funny you wrote it. Right. Right. Well, you know, basically you want to you want to tell a complete story in each volume, but hopefully lay the groundwork for future volumes for readers that are going to pay attention continuity-wise uh, to what's going on. So we were able to do that in these six volumes. We did uh, self-contained stories that all built towards a big conclusion in volume six. With interconnecting threads yeah. throughout the whole thing. Yeah, characters that we introduced in volume one reappear in volume two and volume four. You know, so we tried to like make each story a complete read by itself so you didn't have to read any of the other volumes. But if you were reading the other volumes, there was enough there to keep you, uh, you know, drag you along the story. Like a TV season. Yeah. Where everything comes to a head at the final uh, issue. All right. <laughs> so uh, were you given any direction as to uh, how closely you had to match up with the TV show? We worked very closely with Jeremy, um, uh, Jeremy Cray at uh, World Event Productions. Uh, we read all the scripts. We tried to make our stories fit into that universe that they were creating in, this, in the show, but also uh, introduce new elements. So the, sh the, the books are very much an extension of the, of the TV show, very yeah. much fit right in. Anytime I needed reference, they just gave me access to their server. I could watch episodes before they aired and everything. It was great. But uh, they didn't mind that I was kind of putting my own style on spin on things. To mm -hmm. filter it, like, it, was, it was their designs filtered through my art style. Yeah. When, when you're uh, looking at all the old designs of Voltron, how did you decide how your Voltron's going to look? Well, fortunately, like, I grew up watching Voltron, so my art style is kind of influenced by all the cartoons I watched as a kid in the first place. So it was more of a natural fit that way. Um, if, uh, if you uh, want to get, uh, was it Rise of the Beast King? Yeah, that's okay. the, the fourth volume of Beast King. Is there, s is there some type of preview you can give us for Rise of the Beast King that comes out on November 6th, right? Sure, that, that book w was one of the most fun out of all six just because we really got to play with the origins of Voltron and the mythology behind like the original Voltron. And they, uh, there's a couple new concepts that we introduced there. Uh, the concept of the Beast King. Um, I think fans of the old show will dig it, and uh, you know, kids that are watching the new cartoon will also like it. Now, do you have anything to do with how much available these these uh, comic books are? As you know, uh, if I if I wanted to get it in a comic book store, if I wanted to get it at a at a you know retail store. The best thing, if you're a fan of the series and you frequent comic book stores, is to tell your retailer that you want them to order it, and they'll order it for you through Diamond Catalog. Um, Bookstores are pretty readily available. Mm -hmm. Sales. Amazon has them yeah. all. I know that. Yeah, that's right. But if you want to buy it in your comic book store, definitely tell your retailer that you're interested in it, and they will order it for you. All right. Can I ask then, as a last question, how it is it that you guys got involved with the, the Voltron at Viz Media? Oh, um, I was actually working up at Nickelodeon at the time. I met Tracy through a different project altogether. Uh, we hit it off right away uh, as far as our you know love of 80s uh, stuff and cartoons and, and movies and by just happy coincidence, they were getting the Voltron Force comics up and running. Uh, I'm a writer, uh, and it just worked out. The timing was perfect. Tracy asked me if I was interested, and I jumped at the chance. You know, I was a huge Voltron fan, Voltron fan growing up, and it was really a dream project. Since 1984? Yeah, yep. Oh. Cool. One day, Smitty calls me up, and he s says, hey, how would you like to draw Voltron? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, proceeds to tell me all about the new show and how it's a continuation of the old show. And uh, it sounded really cool, so immediately I was on board, if, if, if at all possible. Yeah. Had you guys worked on other projects before? We're, uh, we're longtime friends. Uh, we actually worked at Marvel Comics together. I was an editor, and Jacob was uh, in the bullpen doing production work. And he would come to my cubicle and hang out and draw doodles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so we, we've known each other forever. But I'm a huge fan of Jacob's art, and the fact that he was available and interested in the Voltron project, again, it just made it even better. Everything about it was great. All right, sorry, one more last question. Where do you guys where do you guys go from here? What do you have? What else are you working on? Uh, I'm currently writing the stuff of legend um, That we're on our fourth volume of that uh, through third world studios I also write and draw my own comic called the intrepid scapegoat which uh, the first volume has been collected and I'm working on the second volume now And uh, some some other new stuff for Viz I can't talk about but yeah. Yeah, just staying busy I uh, write and draw a comic called the mighty skullboy army published by Dark Horse and then when I'm not doing that uh, I draw SpongeBob comics on the side
And Patrick the Star, too? Patrick the Star, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us at New York Comic Con. The, the, the Voltron panel was awesome. Everybody was awesome. So thank you very much, and goodbye, Toon Barn. Goodbye. <laughs>